Hi, this is Tom Vineski with the Times Leader. I'm here with Rick Koval of the North Branch Land Trust at a pond in uh, Rice Township that's been very productive for that us. It sure has been. Yeah. Right here we have a green frog uh, captured right here in the, in the township here. And a uh, nice specimen, pretty pretty good size for a green frog. Yeah, and uh, Rick's going to tell you about it. Okay, the next amphibian that we have for our program is one of the most common frogs that you would find in any pond, marsh, river, stream, and that's the northern green frog. The reason why it's called the northern green frog is green in color, and it has green nose, and it's a cousin of the bullfrog, which we'll talk about when we catch a bullfrog in another program. But the green frog, to tell a green frog from a bullfrog is there's ridges on its back, and they're called dorsal lateral ridges, while a bullfrog will have a smooth back. And this is a male green frog, and how can we tell if it's a male green frog? And it's very easy. There's two ways to tell if it's a male green frog. And one of it is, frogs have large bulging eyes, but right alongside of the eye, a little bit behind the eye, is an eardrum called a tympanum. And if that eardrum is larger than its eye, it most typically is a male. If it's about the same size or smaller, it's a female. But a really, really good way to tell a male green frog from a female green frog is during the mating season that the males have a bright yellow throat, as do bullfrogs. And the green frog, He's puffed, looks like the American toads and the other frogs that we held in the program. Uh, they puff up with air when I'm holding it because they think that they're captured and they make themselves, their bodies much larger to prevent being swallowed by a water snake or another animal. So that's a defense mechanism that they use, that they deploy. Very common, they lay sheets of eggs, kind of like transparent sheets, thousands of eggs, and it looks like a transparent film with a lot of tiny black dots. Uh, eat just about anything that they can swallow from small frogs to flies to dragonflies to dragonfly larvae, small fish, uh, minnows, any type of insect that they can swallow. So they're quite a beneficial amphibian and, and again they're part of the food web where they're consumed by a lot of animals like uh, northern water snakes like largemouth bass and other types of fish and mink and raccoons so they serve their purpose. So this is the northern green frog.